Hey DIYers, Jarrett with Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to be discussing how you would disable the chime for the Qualsys IQ panel too. Um, now you are able to disable the uh, certain types of chimes for the Qualsys. Um, you are able to disable uh, chimes for certain sensors or certain zones if you wanted to as well. Um, and especially if you did want to go those routes, um, you can basically entirely mute the Qualsys IQ panel too from any chimes if any sensors were to be faulted or anything. Now, uh, there are a couple of examples as to why you would want to disable the chimes um, or set specific chimes in different areas for your home or even a business. Um, <clears throat> so like if you had uh, some children and, or a child and um, you, know, you, you don't want them going out the front door or the back door, or you want to basically you know, be in sync with the system so that you know uh, where your child is at, at the specific time. Uh, you can set certain, like a certain chime for the front door to, so as soon as you hear that, you know, the front door is being opened. Uh, you can set a certain chime for the back door so that you know that the back door is being opened specifically. Um, <clears throat> first off, um, what I'm going to show you, I do have uh, two sensors programmed into the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 as of right now. Um, I have one sensor programmed as front door. As you can hear, the chime is a little bit of a subtle type of uh, chime that is normally set for the Qualsys. <clears throat> and I do have a sensor programmed as the back door. Back door open. As you can tell, the back door has a more um, <clears throat> distinguished beeping noise as it goes off. So I can tell which door is being opened. So if you were a user and you did want to disable the chimes for the Qualsys IQ Panel 2, you can follow these simple steps. So, <clears> at <throat> the top of the, pay, top of the uh, screen, you're going to hit the gray bar. And on the drop down, you're going to click Settings. And then you're going to tap Advanced Settings on the bottom right. Enter user code. And you're going to type in the installer code. Uh, the default installer code for the system is 1111. So once you're in here, then you're going to press Sound. And it's going to bring you to this menu. So <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down until you see chime settings. So in chime settings, um, you're going to see all chimes right underneath it. And to disable all the chimes, you're basically just going to uncheck this box. And you have just disabled all chimes. So <clears throat> um, at this point, once you have unchecked that box, then you're going to hit the house button. And it'll take you all the way back to the home screen. So to verify that we have uh, successfully disabled all the chimes for the Qualsys um, IQ Panel 2, I'm going to fault the back door sensor real quick. And um, <clears throat> as you will see, there's going to be no chime. Back door open. So that is how you disable uh, the chime for the Qualsys Psyche Panel 2. So now I'm going to re-enable the um, <clears throat> chime, and then I'll jump into how you would um, change the settings for the different sensors. So <clears throat> on the top of the page, you're going to tap the uh, gray bar again, and you're going to press Settings. You're going to go back into Advanced Settings. Enter gonna, user code. Then you're going to type in the installer code again. And then you're going to go back into sound. And you're going to scroll down until you see all chimes again under chime settings. And you're going to tap the checkbox. So now we're going to go all the way back to the home screen. So you're going to hit the house button. And to show you that we have uh, re enabled the chimes for the Qualsys, I'm going to fault the back door center again. And you can hear that uh, specific beeping noise again. So we have re-enabled the chimes for the Qualsys Psyche Panel 2. <clears throat> now to uh, basically individualize the different sensors and changing the chimes for the different ones, uh, you're going to follow these steps. And then um, you know we'll just jump into that real quick. So <clears throat> you're going to go back into the uh, gray bar on the top. And you're going to go back into Settings. And uh, you actually are going to go back into advanced settings. Enter user code. You want to type in the installer code again. <clears throat> so 
So once you're in here, then you're going to click inst installation. And then uh, you're going to tap devices. And as you can see, um, you're going to see security sensors. So you're going to want to check that. And then you're going to be in the in the menu for all for the sensors. So you'll see auto learn sensor, add sensor, edit sensor, delete, uh, etc. So uh, what we're going to do because I already have these sensors programmed to the system, we're just going to click edit sensor. And at the bottom, you'll see uh, the back door sensor. So I'm actually going to be uh, changing the settings for that one. So you're going to go on uh, on the right side. And you're going to click the pencil button on the right. And you're going to get, you're going to see all of the settings for the sensor. So as you can see on the right side, you'll see chime type. I have it set as beep. So uh, to change that or set it to none, uh, you're going to basically tap the drop down and you're going to see the different um, settings for the chimes. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to program it as none. So when I fault the sensor, you're not going to hear a chime. Once you've uh, successfully changed the settings for the sensor, you're going to click Save. Sensor updated successfully. And you're going to get that confirmation. So once you have confirmed, or once you have gotten that confirmation, you can just go back all the way to the home screen. So to do that, you're going to hit the house button on the bottom. And to demonstrate that we have uh, disabled the chime for the certain backdoor sensor, <clears throat> I'm going to fault the sensor real quick. And as you can tell, that beeping noise is no longer there, but it's still telling you that the back door is being open. And now to tell that uh, if the front door is being opened, the chime is still enabled for that. So as you can tell, the chime is still enabled for it. <laughs> and that is how you disable the chimes for the Qualsys IQ Panel 2. If you have any questions about the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 or alarm systems in general, please contact us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and if you want notifications of future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jared with Alarm Grid. You have yourself a great day.